stopping me now. You know, I can actually read it. All right, we'll not call the order. Let us stand for invocation in place, please. Oh. By your hands, Lord, how wonderful and blessed and thankful we are for these moments. And Lord, we pray now that you would bless us as we go forward to handle the business of the city of Shreveport. Bless our mayor and all the entities thereof. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome to the regular scheduled public meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals of the Shreveport Cattle Parish Metropolitan Planning Commission. For public hearing agenda items, if you wish to make public comments on an application, we have comment slips at the speaker stand next to the podium. For future notification purposes, it is very important that you fill out a slip and drop it in the box when you come forward to speak. When you come forward to speak, please state your full name, mailing address, and zip code before addressing the board. We will call each case on the agenda in order and first hear from the applicant, then those speaking in favor. 10 minutes are allotted for the principal spokesperson and three minutes for each additional speaker. We will then hear from those wishing to speak against an application. Again, 10 minutes are allotted for the principal spokesperson and three minutes for each additional speaker. One representative of the application can speak in rebuttal if desired. After hearing comments on each case, the board will then immediately deliberate and vote on that case before moving on to the next case on our agenda. Please note that when the board is deliberating, members of the public are not permitted to comment. Any member of the public may request a copy of the board's decisions on a particular case by contacting our office at 318-673-6480 after 1 p.m. tomorrow, or by accessing our website at treeportcattlempc.com. All ZBA board decisions on cases within the city limits of Shreveport are subject to appeal to district court. All ZBA decisions on parish cases are subject to appeal to the parish commission. Please note that it is your responsibility to contact either district court or the parish administrator's office about their procedures as related to the matter you are concerned with. Copies of this document and the phone numbers to contact the governing bodies are available on the, po the table next to the podium and in the entryway to this room. As a courtesy, please remember to turn off all cell phones while the ZBA is in session. Zoning Board of Appeals values your testimony and appreciates your compliance with these guidelines. And we need the approval of the minutes, last, minute, last month's minutes. Everyone had a chance to look over? What do I hear? Move to accept. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Moss, second by Mr. Balcom. Let us vote. First item on our agenda today is case number 19-327-BAC. Mr. David Schmidt. I'm here. Please come forward, sir. Hello. Hello. David Schmidt, 4118 Fairfield Avenue. Yes, sir. Um, I was just asking for a variance to build onto the northern setback of my property which is adjacent to an empty lot that's also drainage for the city that runs from under Trey Butte in South Highlands. I'm trying to enlarge the size of my garage a little bit for some storage. Okay. All right. Is that it? That's it. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Anyone else speaking for case number 19-327-BAC? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. If I may, I'd just like to... Uh share that uh, Mr. Smith did a wonderful job of filing an application. He solicited uh, input from his neighbor to ensure that he would not have a negative impact on his neighbor and he did an explanation in your packet of exactly what he, was, what he was requesting. I just thought it was such an excellent application that I wanted to share that with the board. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else speaking for case number 19-327-BAC? Anyone speaking against case number 19-327-BAC? There are none. Do I hear any? 
Motion. Move to approve. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Berry and second by Mr. Moss. Let's vote. And motion carries. Good to go, sir. Thank you. Next case, case number 19-307-BAP, <coughs> John R. Bowman and Associates. Hello, I'm Tim Thomas, uh, con contractor speaking on behalf of Mr. Bowman and Associates sure for address, Felix sir. Thomas. Um, we're asking. Give us your address. Give me your address, sir. Give us your address. Oh, sorry, uh, 7169 Kimberly Road, Greenwood, Louisiana, 71033. Thank you. Proceed. We're asking for a uh, variance to uh, um, allow the lot size that Mr. Uh, Felix Thomas had purchased to be adequate uh, for him to uh, continue to build his house and live peacefully with a good septic system and a, a water well. And we need a variance for point, I think it is point zero seven, um, in order for it to come up until the one acre uh, requirement. So that's why we soliciting the approval of the uh, Board of Appeals to grant us this variance. Okay. That's it. All right, thank you, sir. Is there anyone else speaking for case number 19-307-BAP? Is there anyone speaking against case number 19-307-BAP? There are none. Sir? I, it always, uh, I'm always encouraged when citizens come in that, uh, that do everything properly and I'm always uh, encouraged when citizens come in to God. So <laughs> I, share, I share with the deputy that uh, I want to make sure that you all properly uh, address his concerns <laughs> so that he will be able to leave in peace. Yeah, I, I saw the escort. I said, what is going on here? I just Someone want to make need to know sure about it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, right. Mr. Chair. All right, thank you, sir. I move to approve. A second. Okay, it's been moved. And third. Yeah. <laughs> it's been moved by Mr. Moss, second by Mr. Balcom. Let us vote. And the motion carries. Thank you, sir. All right, that brings us, brings us to the end of our public hearing. Do we have any old business? Committee chair reports. <coughs> That's supposed to be on there. Committee chair reports. We don't. We don't have any of that. All right. Any new business? Do I have some research to talk about? Basically, uh, real, real briefly, we are doing uh, a lot of extensive research. Uh, we are going back, uh, looking at the master plan. We're going back. Uh, reviewing the recommendations that were made in the master plan to see where we are in reference to uh, progress on uh, those recommendations. Uh, we are also meeting, as you, you well know, and researching with the uh, citizens outside the city limits of, of Caddo Parish. We're looking at the uh, Unified Development Code, uh, some of the issues that uh, they have expressed that they have concerns about to, ensure that those are not unreasonable uh, we're once we compile all of those things uh, a lot of the research is being coordinated by the senior team uh, uh, Stephen Jean the deputy director Adam Bailey uh, I never remember his his uh, I don't <laughs> job uh, title but he's, he's the uh, community uh, research planner and Reginald Jordan, the uh, zoning administrator there. They're doing an excellent job of uh, going through all of this information. Unfortunately, uh, we sort of dropped the ball uh, in the first 10 years. I think we started out like trailblazers and it just sort of slowly lost steam. 
and we stop looking at the recommendations uh, that the master plan had uh, recommended the consultants and so forth but they are back on that process and we are finding all kind of wonderful things and that we're going to be presenting to the MPC board and the uh, city council and the kind of parish commission and you should be hearing about us in the uh, in the not too distant uh, future uh, uh, in the di uh, in the near future uh, in reference with the things and the recommendations that we're making I think you will be very proud of the things that we're doing because it will also enhance the uh, the things that you're doing in reference to uh, the appeals and the variances uh, and as we look at uh, you know, the, the UDC, UDC is determining the setbacks and so forth. It will impact uh, in whatever way it should impact uh, on the need for additional variances. We're still not uh, uh, doing much reviewing on the assigned ordinance. We, we still feel pretty comfortable that the, the assigned ordinance addresses uh, the uh, visual clutter. It addresses all the uh, things that we think can help make the city of Shreveport and the parish of Caddo uh, extremely uh, impressive and more easily sellable to uh, persons coming in, possibly to uh, do things like uh, occupy some of the empty spaces that we have and some of the empty industrial sites that we have. So those are the things that uh, we are doing in the research area with the MPC staff. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, is that part of, is that your director? That's report? all I got, sir. Okay. And I'll share with you that the uh, the record for a ZBA meeting is 15 minutes, and you're close to meeting that record today. Okay. Okay. Second. Um, gavel. <laughs> <laughs> I second that motion. <laughs> all right. No public comments. Uh, anything from the board? Meeting adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve minutes it is. <laughs> <laughs>